past the internet. It's Captain Man Beard. Back with some more Shantae Risky's Revenge. So let's uh, head to the shop real quick. Let's see what we can get before we try to find this last golden baby. Yes, please. I mean, I guess. Eh. So I guess I'm full on those. So, I'm in pretty good shape then. Oh, whoops. Have the Mega Pack Bar. Mega Balls. And I've got three balls. What am I gonna do? Gonna go find this last baby, that's what. Got some water here. Let's try out my new bowels. Come on. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh you you moistened tart. <clears throat> See how I kill her almost immediately though. Yeah, you wouldn't fight another mermaid, would you? Okay. We gotta find this last baby. Find the golden baby. Gotta find the last golden baby. Man. There's a lot under here, isn't there? I find it weird that the beholder fish is just kind of like... Okay, so I have to come back here to... Sweet. Alright, well at least that's too easy to get to... Places with things that will probably have... Oh no, magic jam or something. Maybe a heart holder? That'd be tight. So at this point, I'm more interested in heart holders, to be honest. I'm not going to really... I don't think I'm going to use those other things. Yeah, what? Uh, am I missing something here? Okay, maybe this one's a little bit better hidden. Big open area. Uh, hmm. Well, easy now. Okay. So, okay. So swim to the left as far as I can, and then swim down as far as I can. Okay, so let's go back to the surface. Okay, left as far as I can. And then down as far as I can, okay. We get a small gap in the floor I can enter, yeah, baby! This easy for me, are they? Is this it, perhaps? Seems like it. Go! 
Oh, I see you. I guess I just want to make you use all three dances at some point. Golden baby squid. All right. Well, let's hustle back to Squid Baron. Return his children. Man, I didn't know this was going to be like a labyrinth. But I guess they didn't want to make it too easy. And I just got fooled because it was like, it, it looked like a solid wall. But, you know, I guess that's to be expected. should just be right here, so nothing traumatic. Hey, doofus. You got mermaid bubble. Okay. Well, swimming is a mermaid. Attacked fire bubbles. With that, where's the best? Maybe we can fire bubbles. A mermaid form. Division of bullets to again. Maybe we can almost have a destroyer. They haven't received a bullet about carry babies. Rescues later. Maybe we have a favorite. Maybe we have a side turbo with the DD for this. Well, what are you waiting for? Kick her butt. Take her down hard. Yeah, why don't you do snap some Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bolo. It's time for a showdown. Hold on, Uncle. I'm on my way. In just a second. After I go and do a little uh, treasure hunting, I'm sure you understand. Yeah. Right, so... Oh, right. Jerk. Oh, that, wow. That was grotesque. Boom. Please don't just be a bunch of money. I mean, if it is a bunch of money, I'm not going to be too mad, but I don't have use for money at this moment. Wow, that was a, this is a lot of money. Okay. I guess that's useful if I do end up finding some more magic jams. So real quickly, there are four different endings based on completion and how quick you are in beating the game. So the gist of it is, if you beat the game quickly, you get one ending. If you get 100%, you get another. If you beat it quickly and get 100%, you get yet another one. If you do neither, you get the last one. And let's be real, that's probably going to be the one we end up getting. Where was the... There was like a blockade thing near here, wasn't there? Don't, okay, guys, let me just, don't get old, okay, because I don't remember, I don't freaking remember. It's like, I know things, but my short-term memory is just, just utter crap. I'm sure you've guessed that by now. If you've watched me for any length of time, I'm sure you've realized that. Okay, here we go. Is this a secret tea? Looks like a secret tea. Eesh. 
Oh wait, we got the secrety. Sorry about that. Die explosively. Uh, you know what? We're pretty much ready. Screw it. Let's go save and then look for a risky's lair. It's time to get the show on the road. You know what I mean? Well, wait, there's gonna be a save guy, like, right there. I mean, we're loaded for bear. We've got the highest end pipe ball. Let's do this. Uh, I hate you and everything you stand for. Wait, was there one here? I think there was. Pretty sure. I know. I'm, I know. I'm contradicting myself. So I was like, I don't really care about that. And now I'm looking for it, but it's like, well, you know, I'm here. I want to say there's a thing here. I kind of feel bad for at least not even vaguely attempting to look. Especially if it's a hard container. Like the jams, I don't care as much about right now. Meh. Yeah. No, magic. Use magic. Oh my god, why are there so many of you? I think, I guess, enemy distribution changes after uh, we get a certain point in the game. Please. No, I'm not doing it. You know what? Screw you guys, I'm out of here. Number one with a bullet. Well, yeah, let's stay monkey. Or not. Get my devil bitch shield on. Man, that takes a lot of magic now. I wonder if the game like wants me to go to Roddy Top's cavern or, or whatever caravan. That's not. That's it. Not cavern. How am I talking about? I'm just confront her. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to be doing. But no, Squid Baron specifically said go this way. That's good enough for me. Traitorous zombie. You can't, I'm telling you guys, you can't. Controversial take. Not to get too political, but you can't trust the undead. I know, super controversial. I'm gonna get cancelled. But it's true. Cannot trust them. So, maybe they have something to say. Nope, they're not even here. Alright. Be 
can chase me if you want. You touch the water and you cease to exist. Alright, deep's part of the sea, huh? Head east. Okay, cool. Die grotesquely and give me haunts. Wow, that's not just a bubble, it, it like it explodes. Hey, I wonder if I could use that bubble on land. I just thought of that. I was thinking, how funny would it be to use a bubble on the stupid mermaids? No. We came here before. This is where the baby was. Pretty sure. Yeah. No, I can't use the bubble on land. I mean, I guess that makes sense that I wouldn't be able to. Alright, uh, deepest part of the sea. Deepest part of the sea. What am I missing here? Uh, seriously, what am I missing here? Hmm. Well, you know what I'm about to say. So you wouldn't find it. Alright, so here we are. This looks like progress. Okay, yep, here we go. Oh, so by the way, all you do is uh, you leave town. Find the first little gap in the bridge, go straight, 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 straight down, and straight, 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 straight right. And here we are. Look for some loots. Real quick, loots. Oh, fun fact, this is, uh, for me, this is the next day. Oh, hey, warp squid. Ooh, what's that? Is it morning already? Yes, it is. Fantastic. So I can bug out if I need to, which I don't expect to need to. Save, yes. Alright. Yeah, for me this is the next day, because I was just worn out. So... Also, I'm sitting in a new chair, which you guys will see... Will by the time this is uh, up, will have seen probably on my Twitch streams. Sudden schmuck! Oh snap! Was I supposed to go down? Okay, I guess not. So this is why you have to have the bubble, I'm guessing. But that's okay. I like schmucks. I'm pretty good at them. Well, no, that's a lie. I'm not good at them, but they're fun. And, I mean, this is kind of a video game tradition. Change up the mechanics for the last level, because, you know, why not? Oh, snap. That was bad. Could have been worse. Like, uh, whenever I get around to doing Kirby Superstar, the shmup part near the end of Milky Way Wishes is actually kind of fun. It's very brief, it doesn't overstay its welcome, and it's pretty fun. Sort of like this. But, you know, hey, it wouldn't be a video game from this era if we didn't, you know, change the mechanics up at the last minute to create an artificial sense of challenge or something. I'm not a video game, like, reviewer story and whatever, but, you know, this is a thing that seems to happen quite often in older games, where, like, the last stage, just to, like, kind of screw with you and create an artificial sense of difficulty, they'll throw a different mechanic at you. Just because. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not. Uh, I mentioned Kirby Superstar, because that game 
would throw different mechanics at you all the time, and they did it in a way that was pretty fun. Like, I remember in, uh, god, what is it? The cave, Great Cave Offensive, when it suddenly is like a, an RPG, sort of. I say sort of because it's not really an RPG. It just acts like one for a little bit. You little jerk ass. Get out of here. Okay, get the mines. Get the exploding fish. Which likes to give me health most of the time, but isn't this time. I don't know why. I guess it's random. But yeah, not a bad shmup. Oh crap. Okay. I can see the urgent need to make holes instead of just destroying the whole thing. Yeah, this is kind of like Shmup 101, you kind of want to like... Whoa. Hello. Kind of want to like plaster the area as much as you can. Destroy as many things as you can before they get on screen. Get out of here, Tinker Bats. Yes, go back to the surface where you belong. Oh my gosh. I made it, yeah. No, jump jump out of the water. There we go. That's very generous. Another warp squid? That's super generous. Like, almost abnormally generous. But I'm not gonna complain. Really not. Hello. I wonder... No, I mean... That doesn't really... I mean, it kind of shows me the texture, I guess you could say, of what's around me, but that's about it. Go back to my security blanket. Uh, water? Okay. Probably need to be the mermaid, just guessing. Alright, so that's a wall. Just kidding. Um. Uh huh. Yeah, I know I could just elephant them. As we go, okay. Well, speaking of, all right, not too worse for wear. 
Ho ho ho. Make yourself comfortable, Grandpa. Your GD friend should be arriving any moment now. You three. What are you standing around for? You've been paid, now shove off. Hey, that deal was, wasn't for cash, but our brains. Better lifetime supply of coffee. Sorry, change of plans. It ain't worth fighting over. Let's go. I got a feeling things are about to get messy. Yep, traitorous zombies. Karate Tops is only sad that she doesn't get to eat Shantae's brain. That's kind of fucked up. Risky, this is a new low. Turning my friends against each other. It's sick. Ah, you've arrived. You could have gone differently, you know. Maybe you should have just handed over those seals at the beginning and saved your friends from such grief. The outcome would have been the same. Now give me those three magic seals, and I promise that your uncle can go free. I can't say the same for you. Don't do it, Shante. She'll use them to unleash the lamp's hidden power. Take him and run. I can't. Risky wins this time. You guys were dragged into this because I was too weak to do my job. It's my responsibility as a guardian genie to face this on my own. Give Risky the magic seals? I guess I don't have a choice. The magic seals are mine. Your uncle is free to go. Uncle, go now. Bert. I'll deal with Risky. Get going. Ho ho ho. In a few moments, the lamp will be restored to full strength, and its dark power will be mine. It's not over yet. There's still time to stop you. You're certainly welcome to try. Ho ho ho. Oh, hello. Men. Ellipsis. Throw the steam powered oceanic tinker tub into overdrive. S P or S P O T T or whatever. Because I don't know in a future game they made like the acronym is bad. Let's see what this baby can really do. Okay. Yeah, what can it really do? Whoa, that's new. Uh huh. All right. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to actually hurt this thing. Here we go. Oh, my opportunity. Okay. So it seems like it's basically the same. I just have to wait for it to do the thing where it's got the barrel and not be like, whoop, not be over eager, come on, there we go, yeah now it's in the water and Risky's doing her little like, hypersexual thing that is like really distracting, not gonna lie. Damn it, I'm hitting you in the barrel. Come on, do the barrel thing. Come on, please. D Come on, bro. Risky, stop being so hot on top of the boss. Like, are you guys not seeing this? It's like she knows. Okay. I mean, 
actually doing fine, I think. Ah. I mean, we've got a full complement of health potions, so I'm really just not worried about it. Oh. Damn you! Alright, when he does that, I'm just gonna start using the pike ball, because it's like, the misses are ridiculous. It's like, how am I missing it? And like, I'm, I'm right on top of it. There we go. And then we're gonna do this again. One ball that has dudes in it. Another ball with some more balls with dudes in them. That may or may not have hearts. Okay. Okay, come on. Oh. There we go. And of course she's upside down and being like ridiculously sexy while her ship explodes. I just, I just can't deal. You're finished, Risky. Gotta keep your eye on the prize, you see? The magic lamp is back in action and ready to rock. If you still want to know the secret of the lamp, I'll show you. Open wide and say, ah! What? What have you done? Yeah. Do you understand now? This lamp has the power to suck up and enslave genies. Once captured, the genie must grant every wish her master desires, no matter how evil. That is what your uncle has been hiding from you. With this, I can turn a genie into a weapon of total destruction. It will dare to defy me. But how could it work on me? I only have genie. I admit at first glance it seems pretty useless. After all, there aren't any real genies left to enslave. But since you're half genie, I figured out I figured why not use the lamp to strip you of your powers. <laughs> She's right. My magical half is gone. What's left is to I'm human. I don't see how you fare without your special powers. Hear me, genie of the lamp. I command you to appear. Do not hesitate. Destroy this brat. Don't stop until she's a stain on the floor. I can't transform. Risky will use my magic for evil. Now I have to fight with her these items I found along the way. Please be enough. Alright, so you can't transform. That's it. You can still do everything else. Oh my gosh. I don't care what you do. I'm gonna keep an eye on my health and I'm just gonna pummel you. Until I need to do this. Until I need to do this, I said. And, you know what, for good measure, do this. It's like, oh no, I can't use transformation dances. It's like the end of the world. I mean, I admit I'm being pretty reckless here. But hey, it's the last fight. It's what they're for. Jeez. 
Jeez, how much HP do you have left anyway? So I'm out of magic. Pretty cool, low health, might as well. Why not? That's what they're for. It's not cheating if it's part of the game. There we go. It's over, Risky. You fool. You'll destroy your superior half in exchange for this town full of simps. Then enjoy your victory. It's only temporary. The last laugh will be mine. Ho ho ho. Or probably more like the anime. Ho oh, ho ho ho. Shante, you've won. Uncle, my magic. Come on, you're human now. There, there, everything's gonna be okay. Uncle, what about my hair? I don't know why it chooses to obey. Perhaps it's not genie magic as I once suspected. Perhaps that part of you doesn't come from your mother. Your mother. I've let her and everyone else down all because of my foolishness. It's not your fault, Uncle. The danger was always out there. I was the one who rushed in unprepared. Anyway, let's get out of here. The others will want to know you're safe. Alright, and that's, that's it. I guess Squid Baron is our bro now. So all along, Risky had us thinking that the lamp was the weapon, and a real scheme was to get her grubby mitts on your magic. It took nerves of steel to do what you did. Destroying your magical half was pretty gutsy. Yeah, who needs magic? First thing tomorrow, we'll start training again. This time, I'll teach you some human moves. <clears throat> what have you been teaching her? Thanks to everyone, but still... Uh, I feel further from my mother, from my true home, than ever before. Deep down, I want to keep trying, but I'm useless without my magic. Mm-hmm. Nonsense! Miss Genie, I'm ashamed of it. I'm ashamed of myself for behaving so badly. It's clear that you love this town and will defend it to the end. That's why I'd like to return to Scuttle Town's as Scuttletown's guardian. Will you take the job? You'll take me back even without my genie magic? Absolutely! I'm going to have a talk with the Ammo Baron and get our town back to normal lickety split. You will? Yes, yes, I'll do it. I'll protect this place with everything I've got, but I won't do it alone anymore. We all love this place and we'll defend it together as a team. And I promise that from now on, I won't be too proud to take help from others, especially you guys. Evil never rests. Risky Boots and her Tinker Bats are still out there. Yeah, Ratty Tops and her brothers, too. Things will be different from now on. Yeah, but as long as we stick together, Evil doesn't stand a chance. Now everyone jump, jump into the air and make a pose and freeze there, or just scroll up, that works too. So yeah, Shantae Risky's Revenge. It's a fun little diversion, it's not a very long game. If you're determined, you know, and you don't have, like, any other obligations, you could beat it in a, in a weekend easy. Or maybe in a night if you're really, really determined. But it was the perfect cal like palate cleanser after Parasite Eve. I just needed something, you know, comparatively chill and upbeat. 
because you know, happy, happy games make you happy. And scary games make you, give you sleeping problems. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, it's, it's it's not long, but it's a fun little game, and it sets the groundwork for the sequel to this game, which is Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, which I did a. Uh, a let's play of a long time ago, which those files, I'm gonna see if I can find them, but I'm pretty sure they're lost to time. I think I have an incomplete set of it on BitChute, like there's a couple episodes missing. So at some point in the future I'll probably re-let's play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, because it's a great game. It really is. And, you know, guess what? Shantae is like, how am I gonna make do without, you know, my transformation dances, well, you find out in that game. Because you play through the whole game uh, without transformation dances. So, yeah. And then after that is Half Genie Hero, which I have, and I haven't completely, I haven't finished it. So, yeah. And then um, Seven Sirens, which I might get at some point. But anyways, so, this has been Shantae Risky's Revenge. Recommend it as a nice light snack of a game. So this is it. This is the end. Um, I'm Captain Mintbeard. I appreciate each and every one of you who watches. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Thank you so much. And peace out. No wait. No wait. No wait. I goofed. Not peace out yet. Not peace out yet. Okay. So there's my final time, and then there's the. Uh, like heart containers, jams, etc. that I've collected. And whatever you... Whatever you do with that, um, as far as your completion percentage, that determines what uh, screenshot you get at the end. All right. Magic mode has been unlocked. All right, so anyways, now... This has been Shantae Risky's Revenge. I'm Captain Midbeard. You know the spiel. See you later. Peace out.